My name is Ty Hollingsby. I'm a principal engineer at GHD. GHD is a multinational uh, company, with about six and a half thousand people around the world, uh, and we service the global markets of property and buildings, energy and resources, uh, transport, water, and the environment. I would describe the attitude towards sustainability in Australia as somewhat paradoxical. So in, on, on the one hand, you have um, some of the best policies around the world uh, with regards to the protection of the natural environment and quarantine re regulations and the like. But then on the other hand, you have uh, some of the most energy inefficient um, consumers. So I'm referring to the car dependency, um, the amount of energy that's consumed by buildings, uh, where the power is generated, um, and that is at somewhat at odds with the um, with the effort and the uh, the wonderful sort of enthusiasm around protecting the natural environment, which is very very important. So I think in that regard, the uh, the, the the view or the status of sustainability in Australia is is somewhat mixed. However, I think it's um, I don't think it's in a, in a bad position, I think it's actually in a, in a very good position to grow and become much better and, uh, and learn from some of the uh, policy and some of the drivers in some of the, in some of the countries around the world, in, in America and, and Europe in particular, uh, particularly around building regulation and the requirement for the built environment to perform better in terms of energy efficiency and perform better in terms of uh, managing the total ecological impact. So uh, the awareness or the um, understanding for sustainability in Australia is, is, is varied, uh, but there are pockets of really good things happening and there are um, other pockets where perhaps it's not as well, not performing as well. I got involved with this project, uh, I think because of two reasons, um, which are both uh, which were professional and um, personally. I think this project is a, is a really important and special project to demonstrate to the wider industry in the built environment about how you, we can design and build a house uh, with a complete consideration of its total ecological impact. So uh, a, a, a holistic view around sustainability, if you will, around um, the materials that are used, the energy and the resources that are consumed in the operation of it but also in creating a framework around uh, the occupants who will be living in the house to help manage their total ecological impact. So um, creating incentives and, and allowing aspects of technology to help uh, monitor and manage how we consume resources as we live our lives. So the 5x4 project was really attractive to, to me personally because I think it's, um, it's, a, it's a really important and uh, exemplar uh, way of thinking that that needs to be addressed uh, I think globally and it also touches on an area that I'm uh, interested and uh, passionate about which is to do with um, livability in cities and also how densification in cities is part of um, part of the solution to making use of our resources more efficiently but achieving those levels of densification through a very nice and good levels of design to make sure that they're very livable and also a very nice place to live. I think in Australia there's only really a handful of projects that have uh, similar, similar views and similar aspirations um, but the ambition that the 5x4 project has I think is unique so it's, it's commitment towards um, measuring and, and implementing strategies to help uh, monitor and be accountable for the project's total environmental impact and I'm referring to ecological footprinting I think is unique for Australia. Uh, if we look outside of Australia and we look internationally it is on par with some of the best international projects in my view that are currently um, currently ongoing or, or on the books to do with sustainable living to do with low carbon living. So I think the 5x4 project is, is, is a really special and uh, a, a good project worthy of international um, interrogation really. I think uh, GHD offers a, a different and interesting model of working where we provide uh, all the services and all the professional technical competencies under one roof where we can provide uh, what we call integrated design service. So uh, whilst we're looking at uh, the mechanics of the building, um, the environmental performance of the building and the ecological accounting of the building, 
uh, we're able to do that uh, effectively under one roof um, in the same group of people. And through that, we're able to iterate through design a lot quicker and we're able to uh, test ideas with the rest of the product team much, much um, at, a, at, a, at a more rapid rate. Really. So that reflects in us being able to optimize the design so that we, so we're getting close or uh, achieve our very high aspirations in terms of uh, building performance uh, much quicker than under a traditional model of working. So um, that in terms of what's on offer in the industry is unique to GHD. So uh, we'll be bringing that to the fore. I think there'll be quite a few challenges the project will face. Uh, and in my view, I think the first one will be probably public perception and trying to get this project away from the tainted brush of um, eco-bling or the application of uh, ineffectual technology to make the building um, seem green or seem sustainable. Uh, because what we're doing on this project is actually looking at more than just devices and more than just technology. And so uh, getting the public to understand that is, I think, a challenge. And, and we have a program around that to, to help make that happen and make it better. The second challenge I think we see for this project is uh, how we achieve the ambitions or the mission for the project within, within the realms of commercial um, reality. So uh, a project of this nature uh, in the current market is, 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 is going to be, is, well, is a challenge to do under normal commercial arrangements. Um, and so our partnerships with the industry and various suppliers and other uh, industry bodies um, is helping us to push that agenda around how we can make this project um, or project like this uh, far more commercially viable um, to the rest of the rest of the building market. So yeah, two challenges public perception and financial viability. I think best case scenario would be firstly the occupant to be happy at the end of the project, to be happy living in it, to be happy making use of um, the framework that, that we would have developed by the end of the project. Because I think a happy occupant or a uh, happy house owner means that the project has been uh, successful because that's one of the key objectives of the project for, for the occupant to be um, able to live a happy and comfortable life. And so I think if the project um, and, and the building owner uh, gets that level of happiness, then we've managed to um, move towards one planet's worth of uh, resources in terms of uh, consuming those resources. And so uh, that outcome in its own would be, would be uh, a huge milestone, I think, from, from our perspective. And uh, the, well, the impact of that obviously would then be uh, if we have a happy, happy customer or, or happy, happy um, occupant, then the rest of the industry can look at it and 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 take the bits that are are good from from the project and also learn from it, so that uh, we can then build and help contribute to making the built environment better. But also, everyone who's involved in the built environment to be to to to, to really uh, have a chance to see how it's been done and and learn from it. GHD's uh, audience and, uh, and our clientele and the people that we work with are already uh, very excited and enthusiastic about the project because it's, um, it's unique in its, in its ambition around total ecolo ecological footprinting and, and managing that. And uh, there's also a level of excitement and enthusiasm around it um, because it's, it's, it's addressing uh, part of an issue that uh, we in the industry are, are very aware of, which is to do with densification and, and how we do that sustainably. So um, the, the, the feedback or the response that we've got around the project has been really, really exciting. It's been really good. So we're hopeful that as the project develops and as we get into the detail, uh, that enthusiasm, enthusiasm will just grow and it will just become increasingly more interesting.